Record employment since 1959. Record numbers of African American and Latinos in work. 500,000 manufacturing jobs created. Our average hourly wage up. These are a few of the things down to Trump and why he will be re-elected in 2020. Well, Craig, you obviously get your news from Donald Trump's tweets. You might want to get your news from other places because he is uh, making your he's turning your mind into mush. Those aren't facts. Here are, if you actually want facts, here we go. In 2017, the top 10 corporate executives in America saw their combined compensation skyrocket by over 60% from the year before, soaring to $1.85 billion. That's 10 people got a 60% pay rise to a combined $1.85 billion. The top 10 corporate executives in America. This is who is benefiting from Donald Trump's America. The top 25 hedge fund managers on Wall Street made over $15.3 billion in compensation in 2017, up 40% from the previous year. Incredibly, $15.3 billion is nearly double what all kindergarten teachers in America made last year, all of them combined. made all of the all of the kindergarten teachers in America combined all 140,000 of them made half of what the top 25 hedge fund managers on Wall Street made the five richest people since America since uh, Donald Trump was elected the five richest people in America have seen their wealth go up by a hundred billion dollars and corporations announced over a one trillion dollars in stock buybacks in 2018 alone. Why do corporations buy back stocks in order to raise the price of those stocks, which kicks in bonuses for the chief executives? So under Trump, the economy is absolutely booming for billionaires and corporate America, but for working families, not so good. Trump promised his tax giveaway to the rich would put an extra $4,000 into the pockets of the middle-class families. You remember? Well, it didn't work out that way. Bonuses for average workers are up by, guess how much per hour? Since Trump's tax plan was signed into law, bonuses for average workers are up by two cents an hour. And while the official unemployment rate is low, at 3.9%, the real unemployment rate is much higher. If you include those that have given up looking for work and those that are working part-time when they actually need a full-time job, the real unemployment rate's not 3.9%, like Donald Trump keeps tweeting, and his gullible public keep uh, retweeting. It's not 3.9%, it's 7.6% unemployment. And he keeps tweeting about how great um, African-American and Latino workers are doing. And that's a lie, too. As is uh, the, his lie about young people in their work. Over 20% of Americans in their prime working years, between 25 and 54, don't have a job. 20%. That's higher than it was 11 years ago. And the real unemployment rate for young adults is still off the charts. According to the Economic Policy Institute, over 25% of young white Americans between the ages of 18 and 21 who have graduated from high school are unemployed or underemployed, a quarter. And for Hispanic people, it's 27%. And for African American adults, 40%. The economy is not absolutely booming when nearly 80% of workers live paycheck to paycheck, hoping that they don't get sick or their car doesn't break down. You've got hundreds of thousands of young people unable to go to college in America because it costs too much. 30 million Americans have no health insurance. One out of five Americans can't afford the medicine prescribed by their doctors to treat their current ailments. One in five. 40 million Americans are living in poverty. Tell us again about how great Donald Trump is uh, for the uh, average working person. There's more income and wealth inequality in America than at any time since the 1920s. 
46% of all new income since the Wall Street crash has been created uh, in the U in, that has been created in the US has gone to the top 1%. 46% of the new income that has been created since the crash has gone to the top 1%. Corporate CEOs have seen their income rise by 937% over the last 40 years. 937%! And they now make 360 times more than their average workers. Oh, the economy is doing great. If you're rich. In America, the top 0.1% owns as much wealth as the bottom 90%. I'll read that again. The top 0.1% owns as much wealth as the bottom 90%. The three wealthiest people in America own more wealth than the bottom half of Americans. Three people own as much as 50% of Americans. 160 million people own combined as much as the top three richest people in America. And the median household income, the average household income in America, is less today than it was 35 years ago, adjusting uh, for inflation. And the average wealth of the bottom 40% of America is zero. They have nothing. And the wealth gap between white and black has more than tripled over the past 50 years. Trump's policies are moving the country in exactly the wrong direction. And 83% of the benefits of Trump's tax plans and uh, his economic miracle have gone to the top 1%. 83% of the benefits of Trump, Trump's tax plan have gone to the top 1%. But, you know, these are just the facts, not gleaned from Donald Trump's Twitter feed. So stick that in your pipe and smoke it, Craig. 0345 6060